What's up guys, my name is Dylan Hargreaves. Welcome back to DRH Visuals. It's a pretty cold day today here in New Zealand. It is 14 degrees. It's freezing for me. I'm not used to this whole cold weather thing, but I'm getting used to it slowly. So yeah, today we're gonna to be talking about making still motion pictures. If you guys don't know what still motions are, this is what they look like. So like, I think you've probably seen them on Instagram, like surely you've seen them, they're like pretty big at the moment. People are doing them with like Photoshop and all sorts of other programs, but yeah, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So what you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna need some very expensive laptop and um, pro Photoshop, and no, I'm joking, you don't need any of that. You're, all you're gonna need is your phone and a picture to edit, so. Yeah, let's just like jump straight onto the phone and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so now we just wanna get on into the phone and open the program that we're gonna be using. So let's just bounce on into the cell phone quickly. So just one, two. All right, we're in the phone. Everything's working. We didn't damage the screen jumping on into it. So yeah, to do this, what you guys are gonna need to do is go to the link in the description of this video. There's gonna be an app there called Pixaloo. This is it here. That's what it looks like. It's like a little animator app and it actually works really well. Now there is a pro version and uh, you don't need to buy it for it to work, but there is one if you do want it. So open up the app, Pixel Loop, and then you can just use any of your pictures. You can add a picture from your gallery, but we're just gonna use this picture here, which is actually one that I've uploaded to Instagram already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset everything. So that's quite nothing on it. Okay, so here we are. This is the raw image. If you push the play button, nothing happens because we haven't done anything yet. So what you're gonna do is click this animate button. All right, now you wanna make the water move. So we go click on path, and then you just drag down on the water, like the waterfall is moving. And then you just drag to the side so that the whole water is animated in the corner. Then you wanna make sure you've got all the little water fountain features like all these little lines here. All right, now if you push the play button, you'll see that the whole picture moves down. Like that's not what you want because that doesn't look very good. So hit pause, click on anchor, zoom in, push play. And anywhere you see things moving that shouldn't be moving, just tap them with the anchor button, just like that. So if you see rock moving, make sure you stop the rock from moving because rock doesn't move when the water falls. All right, so now if you zoom out, you can see that the water is moving and the rock isn't moving with it, which is exactly what you want because otherwise it really doesn't look realistic. So now that that's done, you just go ahead and click this button up top here, the upload button. You want to change it to about 12 seconds, so it's good for Instagram. And then just click export. So you can get the professional version to upload in 2K or 4K, but 1080p is perfectly fine if you're doing this just for Instagram. All right, now save to gallery, so you can just go ahead, open your gallery up. There's the file there. And you just click play video. And there you can see it works beautifully and like the quality is awesome and yeah it took me probably about a minute or so to make so it really doesn't take long and it, it comes out great so now you go to instagram and upload it it takes like two seconds upload drop a preset to get some like formality and then you just upload it you guys know the drill how to do it um, if you guys make something like this after seeing this video, go ahead and tag me in your post and then I'll check it out because like I'm really interested to see how you guys do with the whole app and everything, see what kind of interesting stuff you guys come up with. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's just get out of the phone again. Okay, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, drop some comments and subscribe, please. I would really appreciate it. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.